Heart disease, diabetes, and stroke, just three of the top 10 causes of death, cost almost $350 billion every year. The sad fact is that these diseases and most other ailments are entirely preventable. Long before a disease ever manifested, some sort of dysfunction was already present, what is called a functional imbalance. Anytime someone complains of pain, insomnia, digestive issues, mood swings, or any other symptom, you can be sure a functional problem is at hand. Disease, then, could be defined as a functional problem that was never properly addressed. Every functional problem, and therefore every disease, has a nutritional component. Finding the body's nutritional needs is one of the most effective ways to restore health. This fact has been completely ignored by modern medicine, which has decided instead to continue treating symptoms with pharmaceutical drugs. So how can the nutritional needs of the body be found? To know this, we must first explore some fascinating biological facts. The human body is composed of more than 100 trillion cells, all working together to promote life and vitality. Despite extensive study over thousands of years, science is continuously learning more about human function. It seems that when scientists believe they have learned all there is to know about the body, more mysteries are discovered. The Human Genome Project, for instance, was thought to be the last frontier, the place where disease would finally come to an end. Instead, the project demonstrated that the mechanisms of the molecular world, how cells know how to do what they do, is far more complex than ever imagined. For instance, it is well understood that to detect and analyze the world around them, people rely on their five senses, taste, touch, smell, sight, and sound. But there is a much greater sense, one that is not used by the eyes, ears, nose, skin, and tongue, but by every cell in the body. It is our sixth sense, our electromagnetic sense. Everything called matter is made up of molecules. Molecules are always moving, which means they always produce vibrations, but there's more. Molecules are also electrically charged. This means that their vibrations are transformed into electromagnetic frequencies called EMFs. Every time we talk on the cell phone, we experience the near magic of EMFs. The voice heard in the speaker is not the actual voice of a person, but a nearly exact electromagnetic copy. Right now, in any urban area, there are around 100 million information-packed frequencies passing by and through each resident. Mobile phones, wireless internet, satellite signals, and radio and television transmissions permeate the space all around, passing through us mostly unnoticed. The signal speed of EMFs approaches the speed of light, or 186,000 miles per second. What is amazing and pertinent is that each of these forms of communication is electromagnetic and invisible and carries mega quantities of information instantaneously over vast distances, even through solids. And they do it all with a relatively small power source. Doctors use EMFs to search for diseases. Engineers use them to search for and study the universe. The computer age simply would not be possible without the knowledge of electromagnetic fields and how to harness their power. What does all of this have to do with the human body? Are we suggesting it can receive electromagnetic signals just like a cell phone? The answer is yes. Not only can the body receive signals, but just like every other stimulus, the body evaluates and then responds to these signals through its reflexes in a positive or negative manner. For thousands of years, people have known about the electrical nature of the body. Chinese medicine, for instance, has used acupuncture to prevent disease and restore health. The purpose of this healing art is to balance energy throughout the body by using its energetic pathways called meridians. As doctors and researchers in complementary and alternative medicine have continued their studies, new discoveries and techniques have emerged. Functional bioanalysis is the most recent and most precise of these techniques. 
Functional bioanalysis is a science-based complementary medicine technique helping knowledgeable practitioners navigate the neurological and energetic pathways present in all people. The primary goal of functional bioanalysis is to tap into the body's own natural monitoring system in order to evaluate the functions within. Functional bioanalysis accomplishes this goal by evaluating the reflex responses of muscles, what practitioners call manual muscle testing. Functional bioanalysis operates on four key principles. First, when a functional imbalance or even a disease is present, the brain and body have recognized that there is a problem, but for whatever reason they are unable to return the body to a healthy balance, what is called homeostasis. Like the check engine light in a car, the body reveals the areas in need through its energetic points located on the acupuncture meridians. The FBA practitioner needs only to follow the energetic roadmap as revealed through these points in order to locate the most significant imbalances. Second, there is a hierarchy. In other words, the body knows what it needs fixed first and the order thereafter. Most techniques will start at the patient's complaint. However, most complaints are downstream problems. Locating the headwaters and addressing the issues found at the source is the approach that produces the greatest result. Third, fixing the ordered steps along the way requires prime movers. These are the foundational nutrients that affect vast numbers of metabolic functions all at the same time. Prime movers do the heavy lifting and include specific forms of nutrients such as calcium, magnesium, B6, folic acid, and many others. Utilizing prime movers exclusively will make recovery faster and more permanent. Fourth, diagnostic tests about nutritional elements in the body only tell the doctor the blood level of the nutrient, not whether that nutrient is being properly utilized. Therefore, at this time, manual muscle testing is the only method of human analysis available to navigate the body's energetic healing map according to its revealed priority and to discern what the major nutritional needs of the patient are in real time. Considering these four principles, the one that generates the most confusion is manual muscle testing. Manual muscle testing is simply a change in the tone of a muscle from strong to weak or from weak to strong in the presence of a given stimulus. The theory behind muscle testing is fully compatible with the classical understanding of neurology, physiology, and electromagnetic principles. There are no concepts based on mysterious forces or that lack a scientific rationale. Just like an unpleasant sound or smell causes an immediate reaction, any stimulus has the potential to change the energetic patterns of the body. If those changes are significant enough, a change in muscle tone will occur as well. The movement of any joint, for instance, requires some muscles to turn on while others are automatically turned off. Just taking a step requires the big muscles in the front of one leg to turn on, while the same set of big muscles on the opposite leg have to turn off. Turning muscles on and off is to the body a most natural occurrence. These fascinating phenomena have allowed FBA practitioners to bring healing to thousands of people who otherwise went unhelped by traditional medicine. As the success stories continue to grow, so will the popularity of functional bioanalysis. To find out more, read Hope for Health by Dr. Scott Monk or visit fbahealth.com.